All right, so to make a portal gun, the first thing we want to do is just set everything up. So right click and do material, name it M underscore red. And then right click again, do another material, call this M underscore blue. And then open up blue or red, hold down three and left click. And over here on the, the vector three, this is blue. So drag over to the blue, drag this up, press OK, drag this into base color, apply, save, close it, do the same thing on red, hold down 3, select it, come over here to the vector 3 selection, drag up on both, we'll give you red, and then drag that into base color. You can do metallic and specular and all that if you want to, but just for the tutorial, I'm just doing a base color. So hit apply and save this as well. So now the next setup thing is we want to track where the portals will actually spawn. So in our first person character, we want to open this up and create two variables. We want to name, it, name them red location and make this a vector like that and then make another variable and call this blue location just like that compile and save minimize this and the next step we want to do is set up the projectile so right click this right click the first person projectile and i'm putting all of this in my first person blueprints folder you can organize this however you want, but I'm just going to duplicate this first person projectile right here and name it BP portal projectile and hit enter. Open this up, drag this event hit out and then delete all of this that Unreal has automatically. And the reason we copied this is just so we didn't have to set any of this stuff up but inside the projectile movement we do want to change a couple of things or mainly it's just should bounce yes for some reason unreal loves having their projectiles bounce so just uncheck that because we don't want these bouncing and hit compile and save and so next we can do the actual portals themselves so right click we can start with the red portal so right click actor and call this BP red portal open this up and inside of here we want to add a cube like that and you can adjust your scaling value right here you can make it where it increments less so you can press R and then scale this thin and then scale it that way or you could just you could just leave it a square if you'd like it doesn't really matter the shape it could be a square it could be a rectangle I'm just going to leave it a square and the next step I'm going to hit add and add a sphere just a mesh sphere and I'm going to name this spawn location and then drag press W and then drag this in front of your portal a little bit just so the player's not clipping whenever they spawn here. Scale this down a little bit. And over here in its details, you want to make sure you deselect generate overlap events. Can character step on? No collision preset. No collision. And then down here, you want to select hidden in game as well. So basically, this is just going to be a reference point. And better yet, actually, we could almost just delete this and do a arrow component. Because that's essentially what we're making. And then name this arrow component spawn location. And then drag this arrow component out. And then rotate it 90 degrees like that. And then the player will spawn right here. And as you can see, the arrow component... It already has hidden in game all set for you and everything. 
So now there's one last thing we gotta do in here. We got to set our material. So this is the red portal. So go to your material over here and do M underscore red. It matches the arrow, but compile and save. So now we have basically everything set up. We're still missing the blue portal, which we will duplicate the red portal once we get it completed. But for now, I guess we could start in the portal. So we can start in the red portal and on the event graph, we want to use this begin overlap right here. So delete tick and begin play. And off of other actor, we want to do cast to first person character or whatever your character is. And then since this is the red portal, we want to drag off of this and do get blue port blue location right here that variable we created and then off of first person character again you want to set actor location right here and then drag blue location into the new location and that is basically all we have to do for the portals so we can compile and save this we can minimize this and we can actually duplicate this portal and call it BP blue portal and see all our stuff is here and instead of blue location we want to delete that and do get red location because this is the blue portal so we want to set our character to the red portal location and then in the viewport change the material on this to M underscore blue. And then compile and save. Alright, so next we can move on to the hardest part, which is the portal projectile right here. And inside of here, we can right click and do begin play. And we are going to need to make a variable in here. So click variable and name this is red question mark and over here make it instance editable and expose on spawn and compile and save this so then if it is red we want to get is red and hold down b and left click so we get a branch connect all this up and then on true we want to set our sphere we want to set material on the sphere and this is where you have to decide, do you want red, the red portal to be on left click or right click? It doesn't really matter, but this is where you decide it. So I'm going to say, is red, if it's true, I'm going to say this is M underscore red, set material again. We could have just copied it, but it's fine. Drag this to false, and then for the material, do M underscore blue. And basically, what we'll be doing is when we spawn this actor, we will be setting this value on spawn, and it will color the projectile according to the value we have. So then that will work the same down here. We want to copy our branch right here, paste it down here. Hook this up. So then out of true, we want to do get actor of class. And remember is red. So this will be true. So we want to do BP underscore red portal. And then we want to check if this is valid. And then hook this up into there. And then if it is valid, we want to say destroy actor. Right here. And what we're basically saying here is you only want, I, I said it before I think, but you only want one red portal and one blue portal at a time. 
So if we already have a red portal, before we spawn another one, we want to make sure we destroy the previous one. And in some engine versions, you may have to put a delay right here just to skip a frame. You just do 0.1 just in case. Because some engine versions, I believe, if you destroy the actor on the as soon as you spawn one, then it destroys both of them for some reason. But anyways, off of this delay, we want to spawn actor from class. And remember, this is our red portal, so is red. We want to say BP red portal. And then for the transform, we want to split this struct pin. And then for the location, we want hit location. And then for the normal, for the rotation, we want to drag off of hit normal. And then do make rotation from Y and then drag this into rotation and then on this is valid right here we want to make sure we connect that up as well because if we don't already have one then we can just go ahead and spawn it without deleting anything and so basically we just copy and paste this down here like that drag this to false and instead of red portal we want bp blue portal is valid destroy actor delay and then on this we want bp blue portal as well copy this make rotation drag the hit normal down here to the rotation drag this into the rotation and then location into location. Alright, so now we are actually spawning the portals once the projectile hits something. But now we need to set the teleport location that the portals actually use. So to do this, you want to drag off of one of these and do get world location. And d use the spawn location right here. And then you want to drag off this and do cast to first person character right here. Or whatever character you are using. And then the object is always get player character. This is the red side. So off of the as first person character. We want to do set red location like that. Connect this up. And connect your location in there as well. And then basically just copy this. Paste it down here. Hook this up. Hook that up. Or well, you got to delete that and then do a new one. Spawn location. Hook that up. And then instead of setting red location, we want to set blue location. Like so. Connect this up. Connect that into there. And then we can compile and save the projectile. So basically what this is doing is it's checking if it's red, which we will set whenever we fire the projectile. And if it's red, then we will get the actor to check if there is one currently in the world if there is one then we destroy it we do the delay just in case if there's not one then we don't destroy it and we just go straight into spawning it and then we set the spawn location for the portal itself or we set the character location from the portal location spawn point so then we can compile and save this and close out of that so now if you're in unreal engine 5 you want to open up your BP weapon component. And in here, I'm not going to be using a, for the tutorial sake, I'm not going to be making inputs myself. So this input, you can un unhook that. I'm just going to simply say left mouse button. But then we want to basically get this whole montage and everything right here. 
we basically want to copy all of this stuff besides this node right there you basically want to copy all of this like that make sure everything's still hooked up properly and then left mouse button pressed and then instead of first person projectile we want to do bp portal projectile and see how we have is red so left click i want to say is red false and make sure you grab your play sound and play montage oops make sure you grab your uh, play sound and play montage as well if you'd prefer having that and just make sure it's all hooked up like you see up here and it should all work properly and then we have left left mouse button so now right click and do right mouse button and basically you just want to copy all of this once again right here control c control v hook this up to pressed and for portal projectile since it's right click you want to select is red and then make sure you compile and you save all right so now we can test this press play pick up your gun left click right click and the projectiles are not getting destroyed when the portal spawns oh and there's one thing i forgot the reason why we're not getting teleported is because in the actual portals the cube let's fix this real quick collision preset instead of block all we want overlap all because we are detecting actor begin overlap so then compile and save that and on red portal do the same thing the cube and instead of block all overlap all compile save close out all of that in the portal projectile we want to make sure we are destroying the projectile once it hits so at the very end down here we can just drag off of this and do destroy actor like that and connect both of these up and make sure it's target self right there then we can compile and save and so now if we close all this and we press play pick up the gun we got blue portal right click for red portal we get teleported over here we get teleported back just like in the portal game and as you can see if we make a red portal over there that one disappears and that one goes over there and we can teleport through it you may have to adjust the teleport location a little bit you see how it's kind of teleports back and forth constantly that's simply due to the teleport location right here this arrow being a little too close so just move that out just a little bit make sure you compile and save it do that for both of them like so just move them out just a little bit compile save and it takes a little adjusting to get it perfectly right but with time you can get it how you want it and see we don't teleport back and forth anymore all right that was how to make a portal gun in unreal engine if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one bye bye